Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my everything shower routine. We are going in, okay? If you wanna smell good all day long, this is very detailed and thorough. This is my pamper session. I like to create an ambiance. This is pre-shower routine right here. So these shower pods are so good. You pop them in the shower, let it steam up, and it creates the most beautiful scent. I love these lavender one, it's just so relaxing. So for my pre-shower routine, I like to cleanse my skin. Skin because I'm going to do a face mask. I love doing a face mask once a week, but the whole hassle of doing a mask and sitting and then coming back, so I just do it pre shower. So I am doing the Kate Somerville one. This is the vitamin C face mask. This is really great. I liked it a lot because I definitely saw a brighter appearance to my skin and it felt so smooth when I washed it off. So I do apply a thick layer of this all over the skin. And listen, we are not in a rush, okay? Your everything shower routine is going to take a while so set some time aside to really pamper yourself and take care of your body and your skin and relax you want to put some music on you want to light a candle do that I do some waxing at home this is what I use but I lost the footage of me actually waxing I'll put it in the next video and then I'm going to do double cleansing so I'm gonna start with an oil cleanser this is from Bioderma I like this one because even though the bottle looks super tiny for the entire body this is really emollient a little goes a long way it spreads so well and it feels really luxurious on the skin so this is just going to break up any product that's sitting on the skin you know during the week you're putting on your cream you're putting on body serum perfume perfume oil etc this is breaking everything up and really cleansing the skin getting rid of all of that product that's just sitting on top of your skin again i'm taking my time i'm loving taking care of my body really rubbing that in before i hop in the shower and now the shower routine so as soon as i get in there i do remove my mask at this point i've had it on for at least 25 minutes and i'm going to go straight to my hair this is um garnier's line and i'm really really liking it when i do my once a week hair wash i need products that are really going to detox my hair meaning it's going to remove all of the product build up you need to understand that on a weekly basis especially if you have naturally curly hair you are applying so much product on a daily basis you have your leave-in conditioner your gels your mousse and your waxes and so on and so forth so having a product that's really going to break all of that up and remove that from your scalp and your hair follicle is important because you don't want it to just sit there it's going to prevent your hair from growing and i do two washes of shampoo once a week and then i love to use this head massager not only is it going to like really scrub off the dirt on the scalp area but it's going to promote blood circulation which is going to help with hair growth i got this one from sephora super affordable you can get them everywhere honestly even at amazon i will link some of these products down below in the description box so i really take my time with my hair making sure that it feels clean i don't want to feel like there's still something sitting on my hair and this line of products from Garnier, I feel like it really did it for me. What I loved about the shampoo is that it didn't leave my hair feeling brittle and harsh. You know how some shampoos after you wash your hair just feel so dry? I didn't feel that with this one. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10 and it's super affordable. So I've really loved using this line. Now I'm going in with the conditioner and I lather my, my hair with that conditioner and then I detangle. You gotta detangle, okay? Especially if you haven't detangled your hair in about a week, honey. Detangling is a must. So I go in with a wide tooth comb because this is going to prevent hair breakage and pulling on your hair too much. So I detangle until my hair is nice and smooth and that comb is passing through easily and I can run my hair through my hands, actually my fingers through my hair like so. Honestly, I loved this line of Garnier. I'll definitely be using it again. My hair felt really nice, really soft, very clean and hydrated. Now I go in with a hair mask. This one is really great, again, for that detoxing and promoting blood circulation. It has like this kind of like um, peppery vibe to it. So it does tingle a little bit on the scalp 
and I just apply a generous amount. This one I do apply to my hair as well as my scalp and I make sure that I'm getting every inch of my hair with that product, really massaging it into my scalp. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hair up and let that sit while I do the rest of my shower routine and just let it penetrate the skin really well, okay? Now I'm going in with this black soap from Shea Moisture. I just go it directly to my skin. This is my soap, my bar soap. I'm not using it with anyone else and then I rinse it off and then I can use it again. Because I'm gonna be doing a lot of scrubbing, I'm just going in with this directly. I don't need to put it on a washcloth or anything like that. And this is just gonna further cleanse the skin and then I wash all of that off and I'm going to scrub. I'm gonna scrub my skin. This one from Josie Moran is really nice. It is more on the abrasive side, so if you have sensitive skin, you might wanna go with something less abrasive or only scrub your skin every two weeks. I do not get any issues with doing body scrubs on a regular basis. So I like my skin baby soft and that's what I do. I scrub thoroughly and I'm using this scrub brush on top of that. I have dry skin and it's winter in Canada. So the scrubbing is a must. I don't wanna have flaky dry skin, especially on my legs, honey. They get really dry, really sensitive. So I go in with the scrubbing and make sure all the nooks and crannies are soft and smooth. And then I just take my time, guys, relax. Let this be your pamper session to you. Let this be your moment where you close the door and it's just you. Now this, this shower gel right here, you absolutely need when I tell you this smells good it smells so beautifully feminine and soft and I just loved how it applied on the skin right now I'm just applying it with my hands taking my time really getting that scent to penetrate my skin and stick I am gonna scrub it off don't worry guys but I just loved the way that this smelled this if you're a floral kind of girl and you do a lot of floral fragrances definitely get this one it smells incredible like one of my favorite floral shower gels because a lot of them smell kind of like artificial to me this one smelled like an actual fragrance I loved it loved it so good so I'm just applying that all over the skin really taking my time again like I have the music going I'm vibing I am vibing and then I get this sponge and I'm going to scrub my skin not scrub but I'm 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 just rubbing that product in because this scrub this sponge is not abrasive or harsh or anything like that so I'm not really scrubbing my skin I'm just like further cleansing it like I said this is an everything shower we're going in okay all the way in so you just want to scrub your skin let that product penetrate your skin let the scent really stick to your skin and take your time and enjoy the process and then I just rinse that off very thoroughly remove all of that product before I let it dry for the next time that I need to use it so there's no gunk buildup and you want to replace these I want to say every two weeks for sure now I can go ahead and rinse off my hair mask <laughs> um, some of you guys on my last shower routine video said that you get back acne I have never suffered from back acne in fact I've never suffered from acne period so I don't have an issue with products sitting there and then me washing it off and it's sitting on the back of my skin it just I've never had that issue anyways now my hair is nice and clean and smooth and soft and like you can see that the hair is nicely hydrated. And my last step is this Olay body conditioner. I love this stuff so much. It feels luxurious. If you have dry skin, these steps are really gonna make a difference. And again, this is what you're gonna do once a week. I'm not saying do it every single day, but once a week, taking the time to just pamper the heck out of yourself and make yourself feel good for you is everything this is a self-care moment that you want to take into 2024 because we need to take care of ourselves and then feminine wash do not use your regular degular washes down there use something that's going to keep everything nice and balanced okay now for my legs specifically i use this bioderma um, moisturizer as well as some body oil that one's from fresh and i really lather my legs as soon as i get out of the shower because my legs get very irritated it's something with the water we're looking into getting a water softener because we used to have one it broke down so we're replacing that one because we have very hard water where i live and it just irritates 
irritates my legs so much. So going in with that Bioderma gel has helped me a lot. And then body butter. I love the Fenty body butters. I can't get enough of them. All of them smell so incredibly good. They're very thick and emollient and feel incredible on the skin. This one has a vanilla scent, but it's mild. It's not too harsh and it goes really well with any fragrance. After this, I'm gonna apply a white strip to my teeth. This one's from Crest, and I only do this once a week to every two weeks because these products will make your teeth very sensitive if you're doing it on a regular basis. So once a week to every two weeks will be good to go. And then I go in with my feminine hygiene products. Boric acid is great if you have any yeast infections, odor control, all of that stuff. So you insert this once a week and you're good to go. And then the toner is great for under the armpits and also, you know, the cheek area. It really cleans everything and removes any bacteria and really helps with odor control. So if you have an issue with that, use the toner under your armpits. And now we're going into scent layering. I'm doing a rose edition this time. So I'm going in with Turkish Rose from Nest and I'm applying that mainly from the upper area of my body. So chest area, neck, and then my arms. And I just lather myself. A little of this goes a long way. It smells so, so, so good. I love the way that it feels on the skin too. So I don't apply it everywhere, but just the upper body. And on top of that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrances. So I'm going into Must Noir Rose as well as the new Nest Fragrance Lychee Rose. And they smell so delicious together. I love, love, love this combo. It smells super feminine and a little sexy. So, oh, so good. Okay, now hair care. You really wanna take care of your hair, especially if you have naturally curly hair. I'm using this Density Serum from Briogeo. I just started using it, so I can't give you guys a review, but this is really going to help with hair growth and the density of your hair. So I apply that to the scalp area and really massage it in and take my time to make sure I am putting a lot of love to my hair and my scalp area. Scalp care is really important, like the health of your scalp if you wanna see hair growth if you want to see very healthy hair and now for the leave-in conditioner i love carol's daughter's products i'm so happy that they are in canada you can find them at shoppers drug mart you can find them also at walmart very affordable but i'm loving the way that they feel and have my skin not my skin my hair looking great um, they're not heavy, so they don't weigh down my curls, but they add a lot of hydration and moisture. So I have been using quite a lot of their products, the different lines. This time I'm using the Goddess line and it works really well. And then I'm using their spray leave-in conditioner on top of that. It smells really great. It has this vanilla scent that's delicious. So I'm applying that all over. As you guys can see, my hair is still a little damaged. I'm working on it. I'm taking care of my curls, making sure that they, you know, are well loved and um, I've been using wigs just to give my hair a little break but I still style it here and there and then I'm doing a little bit of oil on my hair just to add a little bit of shine to my curls and this one is from Orbe I really really like this one so just applying it all over I don't really apply it to the scalp just like my hair follicles and stuff like that and yeah I just leave that I'm gonna put my hair up I'm gonna let it air dry this time I'm not gonna use a Dyson or a diffuser I wasn't planning to go anywhere so it's fine if I just put it up oh I did brush my hair this is the Denman brush normally when I use the Denman brush I go in sections if I want really defined curls and use a diffuser but for this night I'm actually just you know brushing my hair back making sure there's no knots and then I'm gonna put my hair up Listen, taking care of naturally curly hair is a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but I love my hair so much that I'm willing to put in the work. So the ending of this year, I've been really making sure I'm prioritizing my hair health and um, just embracing my curls more and more instead of like straightening them all the time and, you know, not taking care of them. They got really damaged this year, so I'm happy that I'm able to revive them and they're slowly reverting back to that curl pattern that I love. Now, skincare, I have been loving this serum from um, L'Oreal. Anything that's going to hydrate my skin, give it to me, okay? Anything that's going to hydrate my skin, give it to me. And when it comes to my skincare, just like my body care, I really take my time in using products that feel good, that make me feel amazing, that make my skin look great. I'm an honest big believer in when you look good, you feel good. So 
Taking the time to pamper yourself really makes a difference in your confidence level, in the way that you view yourself in the mirror. So ladies, I know this might look a little excessive, but I promise you when it becomes a routine, you will just love that moment. Taking like two hours out of your Sunday and really going in and pampering yourself and then coming out of the shower or out of the bathroom feeling incredible, it makes a difference. It makes a difference, especially when you create the ambiance and you don't look at it as a chore. You look at it as, oh, this is my pamper moment. This is me. You can, you know, put your candle on and a book is going. You can watch a movie. Like I said, you can listen to music, have a candle going while you're doing all of this. So just create the ambiance that makes this really enjoyable. Now this little gadget right here, I got it from Amazon and this is really great, okay? I normally use this gadget when I know I'm going to like an event, I'm going somewhere and I just want a quick lift to my face. Um, I do it for about 20 minutes when I know I'm gonna go out and trust me, the skin is tight. The skin is lifted after 20 minutes. I'm just showing you guys in this video an example of what I use. It's so affordable, but I'm telling you, you will definitely see a difference. Do one side of your face for 20 minutes and then do the other, and then look at the other side and you will see the difference. So it doesn't last like for days. It will last for a couple of hours, but it helps like depuff in the morning. It really, really does help depuff my face in the morning. So for the sake of the video, I'm showing you guys, but it's also very relaxing. Honestly, it's so relaxing. I like to take my time using this product. It's like a face massage. Um, the little gadget warms up to the skin and it just feels really relaxing to me. So I'll put on music and I'll just sit there and massage my face. It's not abrasive or anything like that. It doesn't hurt. It's just one of those really relaxing products. And I go in everywhere when I want to depuff my face because I got a lot of puffiness lately. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, yeah, I love this product. I'm so glad that I got it. I saw it on TikTok, I believe, when I first got it and it feels really good on the skin. And this little gadget does have a couple of different settings. I don't remember what all the settings are for but this so I think they're supposed to target like wrinkles acne and all that stuff but again I will link it down below and then I've been using this lash serum from the ordinary it's new to me um, I haven't been super consistent with it so I really need to be to give you guys an honest opinion but let's see maybe they'll they'll zhuzh up the lashes we shall see and then ladies 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 especially those that are over 35 sometimes you get little whiskers and I like to take my time to just remove those little whiskers. I do not want to walk around looking like that, okay? Everybody got facial hair here and there. Um, I do tend to shave my face uh, like every two weeks, not every week or sometimes even every four weeks I will shave my face. But when I see a few little hairs here and there growing, I will go ahead and just kind of pluck them. I like to do waxing, but I haven't gone waxing like on my upper lip area in a while so I would just take my tweezers and just pluck away um, my eyebrows too I, I tend to just kind of keep and maintain the shape that I have I haven't done my eyebrows in the longest time like gone somewhere professionally so I just go in with my tweezers and remove any unwanted hair and just take my time to make sure that everything is looking the way that I want it to look So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in and do some oral hygiene. I love using an electric toothbrush. Ever since I started using it, I've seen a big difference. I just feel like it really cleans your, fa your face, <laughs> your teeth properly. I don't know, I just see a huge difference. I know some people prefer a traditional manual toothbrush, I love, love an electric toothbrush. I definitely feel like my teeth are squeaky clean. It gets all up in there. All of the gunk gets removed. So I am definitely loving it. And then I got this recent device that my mom actually told me to get. It's an electric um, teeth cleaner. It's like almost like a floss. And at first when you try this out, it's going to be very abrasive and very scary, but then you get the hang of it and it literally removes every single gunk from your teeth, like in between your teeth as if you're going to floss. But this like 
it pushes the water at a rate where everything comes out of your teeth it's hard to show you because normally i'm over the sink and i'm letting the the water kind of come out of my mouth while still keeping my mouth a little bit shut and it really just cleans everything and then there's this other attachment that i like to use which is a tongue cleaner so you're scraping your tongue while the water is like removing all of that gunk at the same time again normally i am over a sink and the water is coming out this looks really weird but um i love this i love this i'm so glad that i got it so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and create your very own everything pamper session.